The views and opinions expressed on this program are those of the participants and do not reflect the views of BronxNet or the program underwriters. BronxNet. Your voice, your views, your vision. And good morning and welcome everybody to another episode of Open, the one and only show that opens up the Bronx and the whole world to you. I'm your host, the Dr. Bob Lee from 107.5 WBLS. It's your number one source for R&B. We've got a full informative show lined up for you this morning. First up, our Monday morning highlights recap from the past weekend and leading up the show. Well, he's a beta award winning access producer as well as a veteran of the Iraq war. Trent Love shares his latest project remembering the devastating attacks of September 11th. Then every week he stars alongside Tina Fey, Tracy Morgan and Alec Baldwin on the hit NBC show to comedy 30 Rock. Chris Chapman shares his journey through the entertainment industry and uh, what you should know to combat kidney disease. Well, that's kind of coming your way. And after that, uh, we hit our second set for a workout session with the fitness trainer DeMarco Rivera. Get ready because we are good to go. And finally, we open up the Music Monday R&B curtain, singing sensation Felicia Renee. So all this and more is headed your way. Stay right there because we are now open. Good morning, everybody. You're watching Open. I'm the Dr. Bob Lee, and today is Monday, August 15th. Can you believe it? like almost halfway, more than halfway through the year. Before we go any further, let's take a look back with our Monday morning highlights. Yankee Stadium continued their long tradition of community service this past weekend, hosting children from uh, the St. Joseph School for the Deaf. The institution which uh, outdates uh, even the Bronx Bombers sent students to the Yankee Stadium Palace for a tour. The school itself teaches 113 students and in anticipation of the visit to the stadium, school instructor Courtney Feldman, he taught a unit of baseball introducing students to the game, as well as encouraging play at recess. But of course, getting a chance to see Monument Park, which holds the spirits of some of the greatest baseball players of all time, definitely means a whole lot more. And uh, charity was indeed the operative word for this uh, weekend, as hundreds of Bronx residents were given free milk provided by Milk from the Heart. This program was launched last year and has provided many struggling parents uh, and, and families from the Bronx with a healthy and free alternative. Residents lined up uh, blocks, blocks long, a block long of people in, even around the corner to get their milk, a major help during uh, those tough economic times. For information on how you can get involved, please visit www.hfhnyc.org forward slash milk from the heart. All righty. Those are Monday morning highlights. Up next, Bronx Net Access producer Trent Love will give us the full details on his latest project to raise awareness while fallen heroes. That and more coming up next right here on Bronx Net. This is so cool, Dad. Awesome. This is so cool, Dad. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of siblings in foster care who take you just as you are. Dad, nice dad, nice dad. Charles! 
Nice dad. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of siblings in foster care who'll take you just as you are. Hey, how's it going? Sir, are you okay? What? Oh, this? It's probably nothing. I'm sure it'll go away. Go away? But, sir, that can't be good. No, it's cool. Really. Do you want a napkin or something? Everything's fine. Thanks. You wouldn't ignore this. So why ignore the signs of a stroke? At the first warning signs, call 911 immediately. Because time lost is brain lost. And welcome back to Open Everybody. I'm your host, Bob Lee. On September 11, 2001, terrorists attacked. The terrorists attacked our home soil. Now, a decade later, one Bronx Net Access producer and media professional is making sure those we lost will be remembered. Here to tell us more is Trent Love. We welcome you to the show. It's always Thank a pleasure you. to see you too, my Thank buddy. You, All right. So you, I see you with your, your posture. You don't have to wear the full uniform. No, but... I'm, I'm retired. I am a, a retired uh, captain. U.S. Army Military oh, Police man, Corps. Oh, man, we salute you. Thank you for so, your service. No, thank you, no, thank you yeah. and thank everyone for the uh, wonderful service, and that's really what it's all about, remembrance. And mm -hmm. um, my way to do that is to have a uh, traveling remembrance, 9-11 uh, remembrance exhibition with a collection of 10 photos mm -hmm. that I've taken um, as a first responder during that time period that I'll be displaying amongst uh, the CUNY campuses, yeah. starting right here at Lehman. And this is, this is your new project that you're involved in? Yes, it's, it's one of them. I probably have a of picture of you down there because I was covering it on the mic and I have my camera too. If you go to drbobby.com, you'll see some stuff there, but I, I took a lot of graphic stuff out of it because it, right. you want to remember that deep. It yes, it is. It, it is. Mind. It was very painful. Actually, I've been carrying around these photos on a table pretty much for 10 years, uh, almost 10 years, and um, I figured that now would be a great time to be able to heal, mm -hmm. tell the story, um, yeah. and, and basically honor those um, victors and uh, victims and honor those mm -hmm. uh, fallen soldiers as well and for those that were too young to actually experience just to learn about it and use it as an opportunity to unite. Yeah. So the name of it is called the 9-11 uh, Remembrance Celebration. Started a website um, and it'll be up in September called uh, September 2 Remember Number 2 mm -hmm. dot com. Yeah and why is it important for you Trent to remember 9-11? A lot of people want to just put it behind oh, okay. them. Well, actually, Especially if you've been down there. Yeah. And, See some graphic uh, It is things. important. Um, and I'm not the only one, but I think I, I'm a fabric. I'm one person in the community. And there are many more um, um, people that came and united and helped. Uh, however, um, I can't forget it, you know. Yeah. Um, even till today, certain sites, smells, uh, um, friends, loved ones. Uh, it was a very traumatic experience yeah. for me, even dealing with today. I, I got very little sleep, so this is yeah. kind of a solemn moment, but I really have to do this. Do you remember the love that took place while all of this was happening? The, the camaraderie, the yeah, togetherness? Yeah. I remember that. People opened up their storefronts. Hey, you need water? You need, you know, you need a raincoat? Because it started raining at one day, one time. You need yes. a raincoat, you need some boots. Yes. You need some dry clothes, yeah. and they were um, just handing you stuff, blankets. That was part of it. That's why it's yeah. called, uh, uh, part of it is United We Stood, because mm -hmm. pretty much uh, I, I was uh, doing convoys of, uh, to, with the steel workers to and from Ground Zero, as well wow. as uh, yeah. area security and any other law and order uh, exercises that uh, needed to be done that were picked up. Um, but yes, we were, we were together, and um, really it was, a, it was a beautiful thing. Never before in my life have I experienced something like that. There was no black, there was no white, everything was shades of gray, Absolutely. and it was a beautiful thing, everyone yeah. helping each other hand in hand. And why can't we continue this? You know, why does you it have, have to be a point. time of sympathy you, you have in a order good to point. get engaged in something like that? I, I, I really miss that particular uh, part of it, especially with so much happening in government. I think we can use this as an example of how we were at that time and reflect mm. back and get there again, because there's so no. much bipartisan things happening right now between you know the government and the United States, which is a separate story. Yeah. However, we together, we are the people. We, we've been there before. We know what it takes. And we can get out, ourselves through anything. And this yeah. is uh, solid evidence. So um, basically, um, about the tour, it's going to happen in, uh, every week, a traveling tour starting uh, in Manhattan for the first week. Mm -hmm. The second week is going to be in the Bronx within CUNY campuses, Queens, Brooklyn, and Staten Island. Yeah. And the idea is to be able to tell the story and um, preserve our legacy. And this is your first year doing this? 
Yes, um, I haven't never told the story. It's the first time. As a matter of fact, your first tour of duty doing this, but uh. oh um, <laughs> no, I am a citizen soldier in the National yeah. Guard, U.S. Army <laughs> National Guard. So I've been activated previously, but obviously never to um, this right. this extent. Mm -hmm. And um, the uh, activations and things that uh, pretty much mm -hmm. followed happened for a long time. But let me share with you an interesting story okay. that happened about uh, at the veterans. Uh, and the annual, the Borough President during Bronx Week does a veterans breakfast. Bronx Borough President? Yes, yeah. Ruben Diaz Ruben Jr. Diaz, Jr. Yes, so um, I went there for the first time with my daughter, first military really official function, and uh, she had a breakfast, and you know, she's young, this is before she happened, before she knew what was going on, told her the story, and um, I, uh, I, I showed her kind of clips and articles, and especially when the headlines of Osama Bin Laden uh, was killed and at least I was able to share with her that he would never hurt her in her lifetime. Maybe there'll be mm. others was that she would try to. But no, she I, she took it all in surprisingly um, and she was very happy and she just said, oh, okay daddy and um, afterwards we took pictures with the borough president. I gave him a combat coin and I, I'm sure that she will remember this because I asked her later on that night, you know, do you remember what happened? And she said, yes, we were there. We met the borough president, Ruben Diaz Jr. Yeah. So um, I was able to share something with it, a very positive moment. Beautiful. A combat coin? Yes, I have a... Um, Mike Burrell, did you ever receive one of those? Ex you got a combat coin? Excellency yeah. in combat coin. I actually gave it to the borough president. Uh, he has it along with um, other memorabilia. I figured he would be the person to be able to preserve yeah. um, the contributions of fellow Bronxites on that. So um, I didn't want to keep it around, so I passed it on for others. What are servicemen and women thinking right now about uh, what took place 9-11 and the two wars Ooh. that we're in? Yes, um, it's, it's a long time. It's, uh, wow, I'm, I'm glad that you mentioned that. There are so many um, diverse uh, uh, opinions, but I'm really proud of the way that the soldiers have been continuing uh, to mm -hmm. serve. Um, it's, it's, it's mixed there, but they are very strong in doing their duty. Um, faithfully, um, they need our support, and not only the soldiers, might I add, um, Bob, um, the families or the unsung heroes of, of this, because they are there to be able to support the uh, family unit and keep that intact while the families, while the soldier might be uh, serving away, whether they're male or female. Mm -hmm. There's grandmothers, there's sisters, there's brothers, fathers, everyone's really stepping up to the plate, and people are enlisting to be able to provide that kind of relief. Um, so. Basically, as another caveat to that, I am in the works for September doing a, another program called Vets Chat, which is going to start at sure and allow those soldiers and families. Oh, Vets to, Chat. Vets yeah. Chat. Talking to the veterans. Yes. Okay. So it'll be uh, giving them an opportunity to share their stories and issues with a, a radio show in September and in 2012, early January, with a television show. Good, good. Beautiful. When is that starting? The radio show will start in September and the television show will start uh -huh. in January 2012. What stations? Uh, well, starting right here at Bronx now. I'm access go. producer and um, starting right here locally at Lehman. You know, uh -huh. everything starts local here first and we have a wonderful community in the Bronx. I have support from BronxNet. Mm -hmm. I have tons of, of uh, military supporters uh, from from the borough president, from the mayor's office. Yeah. And vets can see you all over the world with, through that's BronxNet right. because you that's go, right. just go on the internet and you can well, that, see everything that's that true. you do. We have Skype and that's an integral yeah. part. And actually last year we did one minute caring messages and we're gonna continue to do that. So if yeah. anyone out there wants to do a one minute caring message to their soldier or sailor that's away and can't be there with, with the uh, family, yeah. I use this as an opportunity to bridge the gap in a long distance yeah. during a difficult time. And say hello to somebody in New York, you know, I mean, right. you know through Skype. That's you know, right. You just punch up Skype and you know, they can do whatever they want from there. Live broadcast. Okay, so how can we help you with this photo exhibition? Sure, sure. Please, 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 I am, um, I am doing this. You can, you can reach me via email at trentlove at mac.com. Keep an eye on it. Uh, www.september2remember.com will be up on the 1st of September, mm -hmm. and it will have various places. Mm -hmm. So spread the word. If anyone would like to book it or have it seen in their local area throughout New York City, just feel free to call because that sharing is what it's all about. I'm open. Yeah. Um, 
Rotary Internet Club International is, would be another great out, uh, outlet. Oh, look at you. Um, and there are many others, your radio station, whoever really will want to talk to it. Because this is really about mm -hmm. healing and bringing yeah. people together just like we were. And with 9-11 approaching uh, soon, I mean, I'm sure you're going to be back to talk about uh, that. Oh, sure. Yeah. Sure. I have a lot of... Uh, recording some <laughs> well i would love i would love you know there's you don't necessarily have to have uh, been a, a soldier to experience uh everybody has experienced something everybody knows somebody um or has experienced something oh. themselves on this very very traumatic and it day. affected so many lives so uh we continue to heal and That's right. soon we'll Probably we can get out of the, the two wars that we're in, these two theaters of operation. That's right. Captain, thank you so much. So thank you. Captain, I never knew he was a captain. A retired captain. Uh, a retired <laughs> captain. All right, don't miss Trent's photo exhibition. Up next, 30 Rock star, Grizz Chapman. He joins us here to discuss his journey through Hollywood and his quest to change the world for the better. You don't want to miss it. Stay right there. Thanks a lot. G morning, sunshine. Wakey, wakey, text me. Are your parents home later? We can hang. LUV, love you. JK. Holla back, holla back, holla back. <laughs> Are you with your friends? That's lame. We're in a huge fight right now. XO. What'd you dream of? Something I did. Are you on your way to the mall? I'm lonely. Nude pics. Send me some. Text me. Did you know that getting up and getting active for just 60 minutes a day is all it one, takes two, to help you get stronger, one, two, look better, one, and two, feel great? One, well, two, one, 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 two. Keep watching for some fun and easy ways to discover the magic of healthy living in your life. America. Let's get healthy together. <laughs> Underneath everything we are, underneath everything we do, we are all people, connected, interdependent, united. And when we reach out a hand to one, we can influence the condition of all. That's what it means to live united. I'm lucky. Let me help you with that. I get to do something I love. It has nothing to do with touchdowns or titles. Everybody bring it in. I get to play a part in the life of someone just starting out. How many of you think homework is just as important as teamwork? I help keep kids in school. Good. And that's the name of the game. My name is LaDainian Thomason. I don't just wear the shirt. I live it. Give. Advocate. Volunteer. Live United. And welcome back to Open, everybody. I'm the Dr. Bob Lee from BLS. You know, since 2006, our next guest has uh, starred alongside Alec Baldwin, Tina Fey, and Tracy Morgan on the hit NBC show 30 Rock. Three Emmy victories later, and <laughs> I've met him a couple of times. Uh, he has become one of the most popular TV shows on, in, on TV today. Here to tell us more about his work and his quest to cure kidney ailments is Grizz Chapman. We welcome you to the show. What's going on, sir? How are you feeling? Now, last time I saw, saw you, we were at WBLS. We were cutting a public service announcement, mm -hmm. and you were looking for a kidney transplant. Yes, and yeah. uh, I, I've been blessed to, I, I got it actually, um, Beautiful. June of last year, a young man from Arizona gave it to me, uh, yeah. Ryan Perkins. So it's definitely a beautiful thing. He came out and he, uh, yeah. he showed me some love. There you go. Now he lives alongside you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got a, I got, I got a piece of him inside me. Always. There you go. <laughs> so, what made you want to get into this? Um, well, well, initially, when I was coming up, and I was, uh, I was told that I had high blood pressure. Um, the, the, the information mm -hmm. wasn't really explained to me where, you know, if you don't do this, this will happen. If you don't do this, this will happen. So, if, if, if that happened to me when I was younger. It, it must be happening to so many other people today. Yeah. So high blood pressure set it all off. Yeah, high blood pressure set it all off. Mm -hmm. So now, um, that being said, I know back then they just told me take these pills and that was it. But nobody uh -huh. broke it down to me saying, you know, exercise, eat right, do this, do that, or you'll be 
you know, you'll be on dialysis. You'll yeah. have kidney failure. You know, nobody explained that to me. So I know if they didn't explain it to me, there's so many people, out, people there out there like that, that yeah. they didn't explain it to. So I felt it was it was my one of my missions to to, to do that. Hey, did, if you knew then what you know now, so now you you're, you're on a mission to teach people or tell of course, people because it's just increase the awareness. It's it's simple things that people can do to prevent this. Mm. You know, it's 26 million Americans walking around with chronic kidney disease and they don't know it. Mm. That's one in nine people that are walking around today and they have the symptoms and they and they and they feeling they're feeling fine yeah. but their body we is going haywire. Yeah. We don't know. So put it together. How, explain to people how does blood pressure cause all of these problems or wreak havoc in the body to well, the point where you you may need a kidney transplant. Well, what it what it does when when you have high blood pressure, it just it it pushes blood through your system a lot faster and then it breaks down everything going towards your kidney. And then that in turn just wears and tears on your kidney over time. Mm -hmm. And then that in turn leads to diabetes and that leads to, actually it's reverse, it leads to, it's kind of, they both kind of go hand in hand. You yeah. know, kidney disease and diabetes, mm -hmm. they're like, they're real close partners. And then the end result is, you know, either dialysis or death. So then you started uh, Team Grizz. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, Team a... Grizz was, was, was put together just to, like I, like I said, to bring more, uh, information to to the community and I, uh -huh. and I concentrated a little bit on uh, on black men because you know black men we, we we tend not to go to the doctor we tend to we we get symptoms and and we, we feel like this 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 form of invincibility you know we yeah. feel like you know it's nothing wrong with me you know but see now I, I I've learned so much if if I get something wrong with my, my, my fingernail I'm going to the doctor yeah you know what I mean it's just it's just that simple you know, and I, and, I, and I encourage, you know, men especially. I encourage everybody, but men especially, to uh, to, to visit the doctors yeah. more often. So we feel invincible until the point where you get something that's that doesn't go away. Yeah. Then you say, hey, hey, there's something wrong. I need to change something. I need yeah. to fix something. Mm -hmm. and, and then by, you start scrambling. And by that time, by the time you, by the time they tell you that your creatinine level is high, or you have high levels of protein in your urine. Yeah. Or, you know, other symptoms play a factor. By the time they tell you that, you're on dialysis a week or two, yeah. two weeks later. High protein in your, in your, in your urine or mm -hmm. blood mm -hmm. means something serious. Yes, sir. There's something yes, sir. serious going on in your That's body. That's why it's very important when, uh, you know, most people, you know, it's a, it's a real touchy subject, but most people, when they use mm -hmm. the bathroom, they don't really pay attention to what's in the bowl. But you, you definitely should. So yeah. if you have really high foam in your urine, that's a big sign. Yeah. You know, so yeah. little things like that, you should you should definitely pay attention to. Wow. Yeah. That's that's deep. So what's the the Diamond Enterprise? Diamond was uh, a little uh, slash uh, entertainment group slash manager mm -hmm. group. You know, it's just it's just something that I put together because there were so many people in my position that wanted to do something with themselves and they didn't have an outlet to do yeah. it. So I gave people an outlet to come and and showcase their talent and you know. If I could help them, do, do acting or whatever you want to do, yeah. whatever you. If you're writer, um, I, I just uh, I just put a, a team together, a, a big team to uh, writers together. We just yeah. wrote a pilot, so whatever Beautiful. whatever you want to do is, is available yeah. there for you. And then you have the kidney walks coming up that you participate in. What's the next one? Uh, we have three three left. I, I've done uh, I think either seven or eight over the last year, mm -hmm. but we have three left. We have. Uh, Philly, D.C., and the, the biggest one is in New York, October 16th. October 16th. Is that Battery Park? Uh, uh, South Street Seaport. South Street Seaport. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it's going to cross the, the, uh, the bridge over there? We go halfway Brooklyn. over the Brooklyn Bridge. Or if you want to, you can do the whole bridge. Yeah. But you go halfway over the Brooklyn Bridge and come back and, you know, the music, and entertainment. Yeah. We do about 5,000 people. Yeah. So uh, this year, I'm looking to, uh, to have 100 team Grizz members out there. What's so, the date on it again? October 16th. 16th. I got to mm -hmm. remember that date. You, you got to send me something. On a... Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. Come, come on, 16th. Uh, come on and insist me. Yeah. You know, we have Fox 5 News. Uh, Dr. Oz came out uh, one year. Sherry yeah. Shepard came out and supported me one year. So, you know, yeah. we'd love to have you. We'd love to do it. Bring BronxNet down. Yeah, let's do BLS. it. BLS. We'll let's bring the it. whole crew down. Let's do yeah. it. Yeah. All right. You will get more information on that October 16th, the kidney walk. Yes, sir. At uh, South Street Seaport. They usually put a big stage out there mm -hmm. and everything, and then yeah. kick off the walk, cut the ribbon. Yeah, man. It's beautiful. It's, yeah, it's, yeah. it's beautiful to see so many people come together for a yeah. cause, you know?
Yeah. On a lighter note, and something serious and dear to your heart, tell us about how you got involved with 30 Rock. Well, uh, 30 Rock is a very funny story for me. You know, um, I, I got into acting prior because I was doing both at the same time. I was doing Celebrity Bodyguard and, and I was dibbling, dabbling and acting on the side a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. And uh, all I did was walk in, sign my name on the list and they shook my hand, walk out, and I had a job. There you go. That's <laughs> how you do. We wish everybody can do it like that. It was just that easy. But um, when uh, were you in the union then? No, 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 no. But actually, I had to. I wasn't in the union then. But when I started the job, I had to be in the union in order to continue the job. All right. So, but the, uh, the you told the, me you had this job, so you ran up to, yeah, <laughs> to headquarters I had to. and got your card. I had to. I had to. But at that point, um, I wasn't a character on the show yet. Yeah, yeah. And then maybe three or four episodes in. They uh, they mentioned my name on the show. So once they mentioned Grizz on the show, Grizz is in the Navy. Right. I was a character, and um, you know that that started the uh, the Grizz legacy on, yeah. on on Thirty Rock. And you got three Emmys from it. Uh, we actually are in like the eighteen Ooh. range, yeah. Emmy wise. Wow. Yeah, we we got a lot. We got a lot under our belt. Yeah. So 18. from you know from. You know, Alec won a couple, Tina won a couple, you know, then the right, show right. itself. Individual, so, right. you know, okay, yeah. we're, we're, uh, we're, we're, we're pushing the 18, 19 mark right now. Beautiful. And you're, yeah. you're, you're, you're still running? Yes, we start the uh, sixth season and uh, it, start, it airs, we start back in October, but it airs wow. in January. Hey, man, I got my SAG card. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's oh. do it. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> There's enough room. Excellent job live on Bronx. <laughs> There's enough room out there. Yeah, they, they need some extras, right? Yeah. yeah. You need an extra person? <laughs> yeah. I mean, actually, me and you could do something together. There you uh, go. Yeah, well, that's you the that. best way to do it. All right. Make them pay attention to you. There you go. You know? That sounds good. Yes, sounds sir. good. Yes, sir. All right, well, we'll talk. Where can people find out more about you, your career, and the, work, the wonderful um, work that you do in our community? Well, of the course, you know, work. social media. I'm on Facebook, Gris Chapman. Mm -hmm. Very simple. Uh, I'm on Twitter, Grizz Chapman 30 Rock. No, just Grizz, Grizz 30 Rock. And yeah. uh, if you want to check out my site, it's GrizzChapman.net. Cool. All right. That's beautiful, man. You're doing some great things, and uh, I love the way you give back. Yeah, you know? I have to. And, and create must. this awareness. What's one, people, one thing that people should know about uh, kidney disease? Um, one thing I, I, I think people should know is first, uh, it could be going on in your body, and you don't even, and you're not even aware of it. So and it's a silent, definitely, not, definitely. killer, but it's close it to it. Can, yeah, it's it very can't close go that to way. It, very close to it. And and secondly, I just encourage people when they go to see their doctors to to go get themselves checked out. You know, ask your doctor. It's three simple tests: run a blood test, a urine test, and high blood pressure test. Three simple tests. It don't yeah. cost no extra money. And if if you're in a situation where you can't afford that, or you don't have medical assurance or whatever the case is, all you got to do is log on to kidney.org and they have places in your community where they'll check you for free. Because like, as you said, you may think that you're feeling okay. Mm -hmm. And maybe a little something that you got used to. That, and I walked know. around I walked around for 10 years and, and, and I was fine. Didn't know. And then one day my body just gave up and broke down. And the next day I woke up, I had a catheter in my chest and I was on dialysis. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That's yeah. deep. Mm -hmm. But I'm blessed. I'm in a different place now. I got a kidney transplant, and uh -huh. I'm doing I'm doing wonderful. That's beautiful, man. Yes, sir. Always a pleasure to see you. Yes, there sir. There you go, my man, Chad. Um, tell us where we can uh, we can watch the show and how we can get involved. Uh, again, we start back up in January. Uh, we actually went into syndication, so we'll be uh, on every day on Fox mm -hmm. uh, starting uh, in September. We'll be yeah. on Comedy Central. We'll be on WGN. Mm -hmm. So you can definitely catch up on it. And then uh, for those of you who know, uh, January we start back up, uh, mid-season replacement. Uh, I think we'll be in the 1030 slot mm -hmm. on uh, NBC. Yeah. So. And then a show right here. Can you do a show right here on the Bronx Net? Listen, let's talk, man. <laughs> let's talk, man. I got, I, got, I got a lot of stuff cooking, man. There you go. A lot of stuff cooking. All right. Thank you so much. Grizz Chapman in the house, 30 rock star and... Of course, uh, the work that you're doing with the yes, sir. Kidney Bring Foundation. Yes, Bringing awareness. Yeah. And then you also have the Team Grizz and uh, Diamond Enterprise. Yes, sir. Check me out, man. There Let's get go. that talent out there. There you go. Okay. All right, All right. Thanks so much, Grizz. For more information on uh, Mr. Chapman, please visit www.grizzchapman.net. Yes, sir. Or you can help uh, this very important cause. You can just get into it. Just uh, go to that uh, email address that the website right there grizzchapman.net right. 
got to take another break, but uh, on the other side, we'll get our heart pumping with the fitness trainer. You want to go over and get involved? You know what? I'm, I'm, I'm just going to say. You want to go check him out? To oh, Marco yeah. Rivera coming up next. <laughs> we'll both be checking you out on the side <laughs> right after this. Don't go away on BronxNet. <laughs> College is hard, down, those books are heavy. My sport is football, but my passion is education. Right up so every year I take promising high schoolers on a college tour there, to show them that higher education means a brighter future. <laughs> my name is Namdi Asamoah. I don't just wear the shirt, I live it. Find out how you can live United for Education. Give, advocate, volunteer. Go to liveunited.org. Do you wear this? We can all be energy savers. <laughs> it's easy. Turn off lights. Use energy saving light bulbs. And turn off electronics and appliances when not in use. Make a change and we can really fly. Learn more at energy.gov slash kids. There is also a very attractive extended warranty option that includes free service and parts for the next five years. But there's no need for you to get that. You failed to get the test you needed at the doctor that would have detected disease early enough where it could have been treated. So you won't be around in two years to see him grow up, which means the warranty would be useless. Okay, sign here, please. For a list of tests every man should have, go to ahrq.gov. Lunch, a sandwich is a quick and easy choice. And with the right ingredients, it can be good and good for you. So I'm here today to see who can build the ultimate sandwich. All right, when the time is up, our judges will give you their scores. Ready, set, go! Okay, uh -huh. Jason starts out with a multi-grain roll. Ooh, Allison stuffing her pita with, yes, spinach. A great source of iron. Jason isn't skipping on the protein, adding plenty of smoked turkey. Looks like Allison's putting the finishing touches with crispy red bell peppers for a dose of vitamin A. Time! It looks like we have a tie. We'll need to call in our special guest referee. Uh. Now, these are what I call quick, delicious lunches. Whole grain breads, a whole variety of ingredients. There are so many different ways to build delicious, healthy sandwiches. These two get high marks in every category. I'd say you're both winners. <laughs> America. Let's get healthy together. So cool, Dad. Awesome. This is so cool, Dad. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of siblings in foster care who'll take you just as you are. And welcome back to Open, everybody. Our next guest is a fitness expert who's here to whip us into shape. But not really, right? <laughs> he brought a few friends to help demonstrate too. Now we welcome uh, DeMarco Rivera to open. Welcome Thank to the show. Me. All right, look at this. Okay. Got these ham hocks, hands, and big muscles. How do I get muscles like that? Hey, you got to start training now. Right now? Right now. Right now. Yeah, you need like right, so what are we going right to do now. first? Well, what are we gonna Can do I right watch now? for the first time? No, you can't watch. <laughs> you, you see the model will say go hard or go home. So <laughs> you want to go home, you want to go hard, you got to do it now. Which is. You should have told me. I would have worn some sneakers and stuff. Okay. I'll be back. All right, there you go. <laughs> so I'll watch this time. What are we going to do? Okay, basically what we're going to do is um, Marcella and Karen is actually, I've been training them for over two years, okay? Um, and we're going to demonstrate to the audience how we can actually start doing training. Now, we're going to break the training down maybe five minutes total. Oh, okay. But they're going to do a lot of movement. They're going to do total body. They're going to do cardio. And they're going to do core work. So oh. we're going to let them... Take it over from there. We have one of my brothers, personal trainer, Sean. Uh, actually, what's up, Sean? Yeah, he actually, he actually a physical training teacher, worked for a school, 
And what he's going to do is guide them. Again, uh, we, I just want to make it accessible and easy that anyone can train. How they can start training is getting to start training. You don't have to make the excuses. So these guys right here, um, I don't like to tell people age, but Cameron is 50 years old. Get out of yeah, here. 50 Cameron, years you old. never told me that. And I never asked. But <clears throat> Marcella is 40 years old. Get out okay. of here. So, you know, yes, the sir, thing is that you never too she late. She said she's only been listening to me on BLS for like 10 years. So we're gonna let we gonna let my um, brother Sean Lawson. He asked you gonna take it over uh -huh. and just let these guys do some work. Your okay. guys just tune in, um, look at their form, just look at their cardio, and just look at actually what they're doing. They're gonna create this is exercise that was created by ourselves inside the gym, and we're gonna let them take it from there. Okay. Uh -huh. Before they do that, what's the ultimate result that you're looking for? Well, the ultimate result is that we're trying to crunch time. Um, a lot of times um, we have a lot of hardworking women and men at home that think that they have to go to the gym and put two to three hours mm -hmm. in and they need to do all these different body parts. And if you start talking about time, we really don't have time. So yeah. what we're going to do is we're going to show you that, again, we can take that same time, we can slow it down in actual mm -hmm. numbers yeah. where is anyone can do it before they go to work after yeah. work and even on lunchtime. And you don't have to go hard. As, I mean, if, you're not, if you didn't start, you didn't exercise in a long time, nah, you, just, well, you just get in your car, you go to work or whatever, take the train and you come right home and you're not exercising. To get back into it, what do you have to do? Start it. You the have to start the it. Easiest thing, the easiest thing to do it is just be in it. But a little bit at a time, A little bit at a time. build up to a certain... Well, the thing is that, you know, I, you know, a lot of people use theory. I use fact, okay? And if you, you know, you're going to teach me the alphabet, start talking about it right then and there. Yeah. I'm going to learn from that point on. So my thing is that we know that, um, you know, once you, you know, once you in pain, you start healing right then and there. That yeah. instant, that second. Right, right. And that's the way we treat training. All right. Okay. Let's go to work. Okay. Here we go. Okay. So which, all right. Well, the ladies are going to start out with a simple stretching exercise. And uh, they're going to hold the stretch for 10 seconds each. So... Uh, the first stretch is going to be uh, touching the floor. So, ladies, yeah. hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Back legs. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now we're going to uh, squat stretch for 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now through the legs. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now that was a small demonstration. Uh, we're gonna stretch off to the Right leg, left leg, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Right leg, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, now the lady's gonna do right now is a series of uh, total body exercises. It's going to consist of uh, squats. They're going to also consist of biceps, back arm, uh, chest press, and um, uh, shoulder. shoulder press exercise. And um, so the first, they're going to take the dumbbells in the hands. All right, ladies. Now they're going to do uh, a, three, a three count. So it's going to, we're going to start right now, ladies. One. Back arm, bicep, chest press, shoulder press. Okay, now we're gonna do a two count. Ready, two count, one, two, two count, one, two, back arm, bicep, chest press, shoulder press. Okay, all right. So let's go do this, do the three count. One, two, three, back arm, one, two, three, bicep, one, chest press.
Shoulder press. Okay. Now, you got your ladies can put the weights down. We're going to do um, some core exercises for the abdominal work. So what the ladies are going to do now is they're going to lay on the mats, and they're going to lie on the floor, and then they're going to get back up to a standing position, and they're going to do this three times for a three count. Ready, ladies? Go. That's one. Two. Three. Now the ladies are going to do is they're going to lay into an a, a angled position where it's a 45 degree angle and they're going to uh, sit up and touch their toes and they're going to do this for a three count. Ready? Go. One. And they're going to go also into a push up. One. Two. Then two push ups. One, two, one, two, three, now three push-ups, one, two, three, okay. Now what the ladies are going to do is uh, going to do some more core exercises for the stomachs, and that's going to target the obliques, so, and they're going to do this for a three count again, all right, ladies? And then after they do the three count, they're going to jump forward and then jump into a, a jumper jack. All right, ladies, you ready? Go. One. Okay, now what the ladies are going to do now is they're going to do some uh, breathing. So they're going to uh, squat into a pelvic uh, stance. So what you guys are going to do is squat down, arms forward, and you're going to breathe in and out for one minute. I'm going to time you. Thirty seconds, ladies. Inhaling through your nose, exhaling through your mouth, nice and easy. Fifteen seconds. And cut. All right, guys. Okay. Um. All right, guys, that was great, guys. Um, Give them a big hand, everybody. You broke that for a second. Yeah. 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 All right, guys, what we're we going to do, we, just, we only have two minutes, so we're going to just do a little boxing real quick. Right. Marcella, you know, definitely, guys, these guys do a great job in the studio, but since they're on TV, a little nervous. Yeah. Tell us how important uh, physical fitness is to, right. to the body, <clears throat> mind, body, and spirit. Well, mind, body, and spirit is this. Physical, to stay in shape, guys, and to look at personal training is not just as people go to the gym and want to be bodybuilders. It's a way of life. And once you start looking at that and saying that this is something that you must do until the day God take you back, is you must train your body first, your mm -hmm. soul you know, you have to be in it, you have to live it, you have to talk about it because you want to be healthy, you want to be around for your loved ones. Mm -hmm. We're not saying that, you know, um, being in the gym or being in shape is going to stop you from getting any disease, but it's definitely going to help you to eat right, to think right, to look positive, to think positive mm -hmm. about yourself, okay? And, you know, a lot of times people come up to me and say, hey, DeMarco, you know what, how is it that, you know, you're 41 years old, why you look like you're 41 years old? And I always say, you know what, mm -hmm. I started working out at a, at a young age, and the one thing that I wanted to do was that I wanted to stay focused on me. I love the way that I look, okay? Uh -huh. When I look in the mirror, 
I want to know that God is just not blessing me just with a nice body, but just for me to know that I'm blessed, to know that he gives me life, mm -hmm. give me air in my body. I need so to you built it up so that we can do this? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to do a little boxing with Marcella, a few jabs, just to let you guys know she hit really hard, so just bear with her. You do? Hit right. me now, bro. Uh oh. Alright, so we're gonna go uppercut jab. Good. Come stay sideways so they can see you. Uppercut okay. jab again. Uppercut jab hook. Woo! Uppercut jab hook. Woo! Okay. Now uppercut jab hook, you won't slip it. Alright? Uppercut jab hook. Good. Again. Good. One jab, slap. Good. One jab, snap. Good. All right, same jab, hook. Good. Same jab, hook again. All right, you're going to slip. You're going to do the same thing. Duck, come back with that same hook. Ready? Jab, hook. Good. Move it around. Uppercut, jab, hook. Uppercut, jab, hook. One jab. Three. Three. Two. Twenty. Done. Woo! <laughs> All right, so where can we find you? You you, you train people? Or you you guys go out and you personally train people? Well, um, currently, each one teach one. Mm -hmm. So I train these guys, and they start training themselves now and other people. Um, we located at 1624 Bronxdale, mm -hmm. Bronx, New York. Yeah. And um, free classes from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. Monday to Thursday come out. Mm -hmm. Anybody is welcome. Um, give you a full plan. Do your weight. And also sit down and talk to you. Yeah. Join our team. Good words for fitness. So it's good to sweat and breathe hard, right? And people think, oh, no, I don't want to sweat. I don't want to breathe hard. How, how, how important is that? Well, breathing, guys, is the way of life. <laughs> you know, we ain't going to tell you what breathing is. Try to hold your breath for 30 seconds and see there what you happens. Go. Find out. Um, again, guys. You know, I, I'm, a, I'm a guy with facts, okay? I don't try to make things so difficult and hard where you mm -hmm. can't understand it. Guys, you need to come in. You need to get yourself checked out. Go to the doctor, as the brother said before me. Go to the doctor, check out, see your body, your body type, your blood type, mm -hmm. and see where you're at physically. Once you know where you're at, you take it from there, okay? Now, you're doing something in the park. Tell us Yeah, about we it. do Pelham Bay Park at 8.30 to 10 o'clock um, Saturday and Sunday. We be on the track and we do boot camp. Um, that's available to anybody that wanna come out. Um, and we actually go through all the routine. We bring all the trainers. We have four trainers that work for Universal Fitness. Um, and we just come out and we just show you different, you know, we break up the groups and we train you separately. And it's like kind of circuit training. So you may get me doing something else. You may get Sean, you may get Marcella, you may get Karen. And we all doing various different things. And then we actually, just keep circling you around. So this way you can get a different training and different taste from everyone. Now you can start off lightly. I was in the gym a couple of years back and there was this guy trying out for the Olympics. Okay. Or, or doing something, Mr. Mr. Bodybuilder or something like that. Okay. But anyway, he took me through it and he wanted me to do the same thing he was doing. I said, well, wait a minute, I, I, I'm just starting out here. Don't you know the next couple of days or next three or four days I couldn't straighten out my arms? <laughs> I was walking around like that. I could, it, was, it was very painful just to try to straighten out your arm. Well, he tried. Well, oh, well, he well, went hard is, on me real quick. Very important. When you're training, <laughs> guys, try not to be nobody else but yourself. Really important. When you're actually following someone else, you can actually get hurt trying to be and put the same time as that person put into. So always do it at your own pace. And don't be scared and be afraid to say, I can't do something. Mm. Okay? And you need to slow it down. Basically, that's it. But the most important thing is to start. The start. Start. Got to start. What about diet? Diet is very important. Food is very important. And if you start dining now, okay, and it's not what you eat, it's how you eat. There you go. DeMarco Rivera, trainer, Universal Fitness. Give him a big round of applause, everybody. Thank you, sir. There you go. <laughs> Thanks so much, guys. Up next, uh, we'll hit our Music Monday stage. To the sounds of Felicia Renee. It's all coming up next right here on Open. Get my hands up. Get my hands up. <laughs>
Come on out to your local kidney walk and help the National Kidney Foundation raise money for kidney education and free kidney health screenings in your community. Hi, I'm Grish Chapman of 30 Rock and a national chairperson of the 2011 Kidney Walk. I am one of the 26 million Americans with kidney disease and I'm one of the thousands of people who will be walking at this year's Kidney Walk. Come out on Sunday, May 1st for the third annual Kidney Walk at the Mall at Prince George's. The walk starts at 3 p.m. Sign up today and help fight kidney disease. Did you find the flashlight and the batteries? Yes. Did you make sure we're not missing anything in the first aid kit? Yep. Did you go through the plan with the kids again? Yes. The more you prepare today, the more you'll be able to reduce the devastating effects of a tornado, an earthquake, a power outage, or any other disaster. That's food! When it's time for lunch, a sandwich is a quick and easy choice. And with the right ingredients, it can be good and good for you. So I'm here today to see who can build the ultimate sandwich. All right, when the time is up, our judges will give you their scores. Ready, set, go! Okay. Uh, Jason starts out with a multi-grain roll. Ooh, Allison stuffing her pita with, yes, spinach. A great source of iron. Jason isn't skipping on the protein, adding plenty of smoked turkey. It's like Allison's putting the finishing touches with crispy red bell peppers for a dose of vitamin A. Time! It looks like we have a tie. We'll need to call in our special guest referee. Uh. Now these are what I call quick, delicious lunches whole grain breads, a whole variety of ingredients. There are so many different ways to build delicious, healthy sandwiches. These two get high marks in every category. I'd say you're both winners. <laughs> America. Let's get healthy together. Nice, Dad. Nice, Dad. Nice, Dad. Charles! Nice, Dad. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of siblings in foster care who'll take you just as you are. Hey, welcome back, everybody, to Open. I'm your host, Dr. Bob Lee. The beat goes on and on and on until the break of dawn, because now it's time for our Music Mondays. This week's Music Monday spotlight shines on a singer who has blended classic R&B with a, a new style of hip hop. Here to perform for us, please welcome to the stage Felicia Renee. Take it away. Do your thing, darling. You're looking beautiful too. Thank you. All right. Give her a big hand, everybody. First song I'm going to be doing is called My Heart, and it will be available later on tonight as a free download. Oh, we're changing things up. This is going to be my single. You hear that one song? It's hard to breathe. I know the remedy to cure you. All you need is some space, time, so you can be free. Don't let your circumstances hold you back from what you want to do. It's up to you.
Let's hear it for everybody. Woo! Felicia Renee in the house. You. Now, you're working with uh, my cousin, yes, I Mike am. Burrell, yes. who's worked with Jill Scott, worked with Jill Scott, Alicia Keys. You're in good hands. Yes, I am. Yes, you are. I'm in great hands. I now, have an amazing team. Yes. And now, what you just sang was Getaway? Yes. And yes. that's on your, your new CD, yes. Insatiable? Yes. This is actually what we're going to give you guys a hint of. Uh, this is the promotional picture in the CD and the music that's available yeah. now, including that single, which is coming out this uh, fall. And you have some ballads and stuff yes, on I it, too? Yes, I do. I have a ballad that's going to be available after this show tonight. <gasps> Wait a minute. And you're here? Yes. And it's coming out tonight? Yes. Well, you know what? The workout team wants to hear you uh, just kick a few. Okay. Ready? All right. I'll stand right here with you. Okay. Just a little bit. You want a little of, just the, a little touch. of the one coming tonight? Just a touch. Why can I trust you with my heart? If I cross the line, will I be asking for it? Oh, the happiness of life, or oh, the pain of disappointment. <laughs> well, you could cross the line. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> she is great. Give her a big round of applause once again, everybody. Now, did you start here in New York? I did. I, I went to school in Pittsburgh and picked up as much as I could and uh -huh. knew that I always needed to be in New York. Yeah. So I got a little impatient and left, and we're all coming back together. How back early on did you know what you wanted to do? Always. Always. Always, always. Church? Always. Yeah church and um, as I was growing up I always knew. Uh -huh. So who, who, who are some of your people that you looked up to that you wanted to be like or sing like? Um, Stevie, Shaka and then a lot of people out now. Uh -huh. All right so we got this out. Where can we get it? We can get tonight you can get the first the first ballad mm -hmm. and the single is coming in the fall following the album. Okay. Well, thank you so much. They want me to wrap up. You're going to take us out. I'm just yeah. going to say this right here. Thanks to all of our people. And uh, thanks for everybody who, who's checking it out, listening and watching and all that stuff. Many thanks to our guests for stopping by. And of course, you, our viewer, for tuning in and checking it all out. It's Monday and stay tuned uh, for Open this Wednesday with Darren Jaime. He's going to come back with some more. Okay. Always remember this. What you are is God's gift to you and what you make of yourself is your gift to God. So choose your choice and let your choice control the chooser. I'm the Dr. Bob Lee with Felicia Renee. Take us home. If I cross the line, will I be asking for it? Oh, the happiness of life, or the pain of disappointment. I don't want to blame you for everything I've been through. I've been down before. And of my heart, there's not much left to break, so don't let me down. Thank you, darling. Thank you. Cuz gonna take good care of you. <laughs> Cuz.